guys, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Red Oak Live. What is going on, guys? Brett Live back with another video, and today we are doing it yet again. We are doing a collab with Wrestling Hero Figs. This is a setup competition. Wrestling Hero Figs hit me up on the DMs. He's like, "Hey, Brett, want to do another competition?" I'm like, "Okay, sure." And he's like, "How about a setup?" I'm like, "All right, perfect." So this is gonna be a steel cage setup on Wrestling Hero Figs' channel. He will be uploading the same sort of setup. In, in a steel cage style the way we figure out who wins is the amount of likes so if you want me to win definitely drop a like on this video and if you want wrestling hero figs to win head on over to his channel subscribe to his channel and like his video if you want him to win but without further ado we're gonna get into the bro live versus wrestling hero fix steel cage wwe action figure setup what is going on guys, Brett Alive back with another video and today we have the Steel Cage WWE action figure setup. In this setup, of course, we're bringing out the Steel Cage, the NXT Authentic Scale Ring, which we rarely ever bring out because I normally in, are using the SmackDown Live and Raw Main Event Mattel Rings. But this is from Wicked Cool Toys, haven't took it out in a while, so we're doing this Steel Cage setup. And shout out to Fan of the Week on the screen right now, uh, so I'm in Target, what's up my guy? Oh, thanks for saying what's up. But yes, without further ado, we're going to head into the Steel Cage setup. Okay, guys, backstage. Here we have Stone Cold about to go out to the ring. He's got his ice-cold cooler of beers. And here comes Kurt Anger all offering him a milk. And he's saying, what? I'm, I'm going. I'm going to go crack a beer, not a milk. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny because Kurt Angle with the milk and then Stone Cold with the beers. Here we have Daniel Bryan kicking Rusev's face right into the freaking lockers. Absolutely oh, menacing be. right there. Here we have yeah. Braun Strowman assaulting No Way Jose because he has one of the worst characters, in my opinion, of all time. Uh, up there with Adam Rose. They're trying to recreate that Adam Rose gimmick, which they know didn't work, so I don't know why they would try again. But yeah, there's Braun Strowman just destroying No Way Jose. Here we have Razor Ramon delivering a Razor's Edge to Mark Henry onto the steel stairs. If you guys could see the tacks under there as well. Pretty freaking cool right there. I like that a lot. Here we have have, oh my gosh, this custom big show that I made, made it out of a giant machine figure, had a toy so crack and swap everything, and the battle scars, ah, oh, I've learned, wear gloves when you torso squat, swap, oh my gosh, but yeah, that brand new big show I just customized, uh, choke slamming John Cena onto those guitars, and there's Elias saying, no, those are my collection of guitars, which I thought was pretty funny, here we have, here we have Kane tombstoning Scott Hall into that shipping container, here we have Edge spearing V1 Matt Hardy right through the couch. And then the lamp's falling off the table. There's garbage everywhere backstage, which is pretty cool. I like the backstage setup for this one. Moving into the arena. Let's get over here on ringside in the production area. Here we have Daniel Bryan assaulting Miz with a guitar. He just slammed it right over his head, as you guys can see all the parts and pieces are slammed over the Miz and then he's holding on to the uh, guitar stick right there. Here we have Beck in the corner over here. Here we have Undertaker taking out Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder Revival because they don't deserve to be Raw Tag Team Champions in my opinion. So he's taking them out with a barbed wire bat over here on ringside. He sent Dawson, uh, he sent uh, Wilder, oh no, Scott Dawson through a door and now he's about to unload on Dash Wilder with that uh, barbed wire bat. Here we have Jeff Hardy. He just locked CM Punk up to the barricade with barbed wire, and now he's about to beat him with that 2x4 with nails jabbed into it, which is crazy. Here we have AJ Styles about to hit a phenomenal forearm here on Sami Zayn off the barricade to the outside. Here we have The Rock hitting a rock bottom on Shawn Michaels on the steel floor. Over here on the stage, here we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan, first time in a setup video, his setup debut, hitting... Stone Cold to the back of the neck with his 2x4 right there. That's a very cool figure. Of course, the Retro Fest. Uh, Hexa Jim Duggan. Here we have Jeff Hardy. He jumped off the top of the Titan Tron and he's delivering a Swanton Bomb on Randy Orton with those like containers, those barrels right there. Here we have Cesaro hitting Randy Orton right to the midsection with a kick right there. Looks pretty cool. I like how that turned out. Uh, uh, I have really no idea what's going on here. My brother set this up and comment down below what you guys think is going on here. You have Lana, El two El Toritos, and then Hornswoggle like bowing down to Mark Henry with a bu bunch of accessories on. Comment down below what is happening right there. I have no idea. 
Absolutely awesome. Here we have the bar taking out James Ellsworth before he could even enter the steel cage. There's Seamus clotheslining James Ellsworth right into the steel. And then there's Cesaro doing the bar thing. I wish they had interchangeable hands, but that uh, they released these figures before uh, they started doing that. But yeah, they would have like the bar figures, uh, I mean bar interchangeable hands, which would be pretty cool. Here we have the Usos trying to escape the cage from the Ascension. But nor do they know that the shield is down below and they're not going to let them escape. Absolutely really cool. Oh, and that new head swap, Dean Ambrose. Look at that. Woo, very cool right there. Brand new head swap, Dean Ambrose. And there's my just a bunch of fix-up shield figures right there. Pretty cool. Usos and then the Ascension. Moving on more to ringside. Here we have... Velveteen Dream dropping Adam Cole with that like I don't even know I forgot what the move is called but he tur he has like a fireman's carry into like a spin onto the ground which is a very cool move comment down below what it is called I totally forgot but yeah he's hitting Adam Cole with that move onto the chair on the outside which is pretty cool here we have that big show grabbing Killian Dane, the only NXT figure I have, which I wish I could friggin' find the uh, Aleister Black, Drew McIntyre, and Ruby Riot, but I can't, man. I only found Killian Dane. But yeah, he's choke slamming Killian Dane right into the steel grate of the steel cage. Here we have Rusev about to enter the steel cage right there. He's all accessorized with the gold star medal. He's got the Bulgarian jacket and the US title right there. Here we have Seth Rollins. If you guys remember when Seth Rollins turned heel, he dropped, Seth, uh, he dropped Dean Ambrose right through the cinder blocks with a curb stomp right there, pretty freaking sick. Here we have Roman Reigns spearing uh, Akira Tozawa over the barricade right there, pretty cool. Here we have Kevin Owens doing a pop-up power bomb right into the corner of the steel cage to Enzo Moray. Looks absolutely horrific right there. Here we have Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 35 spearing Baron Corbin right through the barricade. And don't worry, there will be a WrestleMania 35 setup coming to the channel. Don't worry. Uh, moving to ringside here, here we have Xavier Woods. He jumped off the top of the steel cage right through the announcer's table and Shinsuke Nakamura down, down below with an elbow drop. Here we have Shane McMahon over here. He did, he's about to do a backflip. Well, he is in mid-motion of doing a backflip off the steel cage onto Jeff Hardy down below, which is absolutely crazy. I love that. Uh, moving to the top of the steel cage, here we have Finn Balor delivering a coup de grace from the top of the stage to Finn Balor. And then there's AJ Styles looking freaking awesome with that fix-up jacket on the Elite 47, which I think looks pretty cool. Comment down below what you guys think on that. He's uh, perched on the top of the steel cage over there. Here we have Braun Strowman picking up Finn Balor, about to send him to his death to the bottom of the steel cage, to the floor. Absolutely awesome. Moving inside of the steel cage, here we have CM Punk not going to let Triple H exit the cage. Another fix-up over here. Another fix-up Triple H, looking pretty freaking sick. He's not going to let him escape the cage right there. Here, oh, I already went over the Ascension and Usos. Here we have Seth Rollins. Before WrestleMania 35, getting the upper hand on Brock Lesnar, hitting a curb stomp on the promo tired Brock Lesnar right there. Really cool. He's got the pants, he's got the shirt, and Seth Rollins is also wearing the shirt. Uh, here we have uh, Cedric Alexander just delivered a moonsault off the top of the freaking cage to Brian Kendrick right through a table. Here we have Kurt Angle delivering an Olympic slam to Jeff Hardy. Another fix up right there. Uh, Olympic slam right into the steel cage right there. Here we have Billy Gunn right there. His legs weren't all uh, like, they wouldn't go out all the way, you know, they wouldn't like go out all the way. So I couldn't really fully deliver the super kick, but there he is doing the super kick to the man who's facing Dana Brown at WrestleMania, Kofi Kingston. Here we have Shawn Michaels. He just delivered a sweet chin music to Rey Mysterio. Shout out to MDT for this idea for the tax. But yeah, he just delivered a sweet chin music to Rey Mysterio onto the tax. Looks absolutely terrifying right there. Really cool. And then moving to the corner, last setup. Here we have Shane McMahon delivering a coast to coast to AJ Styles with the garbage can into his face right there. Okay, guys, this has been the setup. Again, don't forget to comment down below what you guys think is happening right there. My brother set it up. I don't even, I have no idea what is happening there. And remember, wear gloves when you torso crack, please. And be careful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below your set, favorite setup, and I'll see you next time. Brutal Live! Ow.